on everybody welcome back to headass garage in today's video we're installing a nexar dash cam this is the nexar beam model it's a pretty nice dash cam overall the things that come in the set are the dash cam itself five wire retainer clips which i'm gonna try not to use if i can avoid it it comes with a 12 foot charging cable and a cigarette lighter three installation manuals, an interior clip remover, and the actual windshield mount itself. We are not sponsored by Nexar by any means, it's just a very good company and they produce some of the best dash cams on the market and especially at their price point. I picked up the dash cam for about a hundred dollars, now I know I got it on Black Friday sale, I ordered this all the way back then in November, um, unfortunately just before the car broke, which if you haven't seen that video explaining everything there's a link popping up right now if you want to check that out and see why the car was gone for so long i ordered this dash cam right before it broke and haven't had a chance to install it because it's been at the shop for so long we're gonna go ahead and get started on that today i hope there's a good place for me to mount it to but without any further ado we'll go ahead and get started the dash cam has this notch right here at the top and that lines up perfectly with the actual dash cam mount. You can see that clip right there, slots into that little square and then slides forward to give you a nice lock. Just like that. Then you've got this wire right here that's connected to the actual charging base of the mount. It goes into that power hole right there. Just like that. Now I'll toss it up on the windshield and that should be the first part done. Now sitting in the passenger side, but I've got the dash cam mounted on there. I did end up having to use a couple of those clip things just to hold the wire up here. However, when you're sitting back in the seat, you can't see the wire at all. So it is what it is. I didn't want to use them, but it's just a whole lot easier that way. And then I went ahead and popped off this A pillar trim right here, which was way easier than I expected it to be. This allows me to run the cable behind this sheathing that's already there and down into and behind the dash. Now you can see that wire is tucked behind the A pillar and the rest of the wire comes out underneath the dash right here. With this interior trim piece removed right here, I'm able to run the wire from behind the dash underneath all this trim back to the actual cigarette lighter right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this part of the dash right here so that I can tuck this wire a little further and go for a little bit cleaner of an install. So we've got that wire tucked now. It's other than those two portions, it is completely hidden. You can see that trim piece is back installed right there. The wire runs through the dash up the A pillar across and to the Nexar dash cam. I'm now in the Nexar app and I'm gonna go ahead and join this network and it should get me connected to the dash cam in just a minute. Alrighty, there it is, connected now. Set up. Sitting in the driver's seat, you can see there's the Nexar over there. Doesn't take up too much room, not that visibility in this car is great to begin with. At my eye level, that's how much it takes up. So really doesn't impair your vision too much, which is very nice. With the wire ran, you can see from my view, you've got that little portion up there that you can see, but other than that, the wire is completely invisible until you get to right here, which I might end up changing this because I'm not the biggest fan of the way it looks. I might cut the wire and then connect it into the fuse block. But for the purpose of this video, this is showing you how it's done the Nexar way, how they recommend to do it. That is an install done on the dash cam. I'll go ahead and take the car out on a quick drive. That way I can see what the overall image quality is like and to make sure that this won't rattle off or uh, fall off of the windscreen as I'm bouncing because this car's suspension is very rough. So that is important to make sure of, but overall installation was not difficult. It took much less time than I was expecting and we'll be sure to do an update video on it to let y'all know just how worth it this actually is. Now we're going to cut to some clips of both 
daytime driving and nighttime driving so that you can see what the image quality is like for both of those. I'm about to go on my cruise right now uh, just to make sure that the dash cam stays in place and doesn't wobble around or fall off at all. If the video looks a little hazy, it genuinely is hazy out. The video is not hazy uh, or shouldn't be hazy. Uh, if you do see a little bit of haze, that is not the camera, that is just the conditions. Peace.